We all put together here. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I don't know when we can do it, but I want us to get together and go down by that McDonald's. Where all these people sitting on the feet. Jesus. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Give them something. A track. And let's sing Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound. That saved the wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Blind, but now. We got to do something, church. We going to be held accountable for the soul. We're supposed to be Christian. I'm going when you're ready. Come on, somebody. Yes, Come on, somebody. Amen. And we, God is first. The family is second. So we should be getting our family saved. I'm going. We can't make them saved. But if we call it, you can say, Come on, let's pray. Let's get out there. That's it. See, the problem is you can't go over to their house. I'm going to tell them that today. He got all this worldly stuff sitting here. He didn't mess around and see you have a cup of it. The first thing he would say, how can you tell me anything? If I hold up a cup, you better believe it. There's going to be some Pepsi or Coca-Cola in it. And there won't be nothing in that Coke. Come on, somebody. And when I go, I'm not going to preach to nobody. Uh-uh. But don't bother me if the Holy Ghost tells me to tell you something. Come on, somebody. Huh? I ain't going to stand up in no crowd. I'm going to say, come here, sweetheart. Let me tell you something. Can I talk to you? Yeah. Yeah. And share with God. Now, God ain't gonna give you no 10 or 15 minutes. Something to tell nobody. But when he tells you and you tell them, uh -huh. it starts plugging on their heart. Yeah. Then you walk away. Yeah. And so later on, somebody else will come along. Yeah. Come here, baby, let me tell you something. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I done heard this before. And it started elevating you in your mind. And then the Lord started pulling. It might be a song on the radio. It might be a message on the TV. I got to get to the church or somewhere. Because something is happening to me. Y'all come on and help me talk about it. Nicodemus, 
Nicodemus didn't send nobody to come back and tell me. Nicodemus said, I want to find out. Somebody been reading. And when he started talking to the Lord, oh my God, he can trip the Lord. You got to be born again. What you mean born again? How can I be born old as I am? Lord have mercy. But the Lord laid it on on Nicodemus. But one thing about it is, the Bible said that uh, they were talking about killing Jesus. But old Nicodemus stood up. But they overruled Nicodemus. But one thing about old Nick, when Jesus died, he, he went, him and another person, I can't call no name right now, I can't think of the name, and asked for Jesus' body. See, what I'm trying to tell you, you don't do things that you don't even know why you're doing. But you're doing it to glorify God. And then once you get that relationship, he'll tell you something and you don't know head from tail. But you trust him and do it anyway. If he go out there and tell you, say, go out there and stand in the middle of the street. And you do it, it might be a dollar. He might say, go, go down to Ridge Road. And you're faithful enough. It might be two or three thousand. Laying in our bed, in our bed. But you got to trust him. What I'm trying to say, a lot of times, you tell me things. Uh, I don't know. But I trust him. Because he's going to bring me out. If I don't understand it, Sister Matthew, I said, Lord, it's not that I have doubt. But show me and prove it to me. I don't care if it's on the network, TV, in your whatever. And I can watch. Somebody said the same thing he said. I said, <laughs> confirm your word now. Come on, son. Why y'all looking at me like, come on, somebody. We walk by faith. We not by self. Trust in the Lord. Lean not to your own understanding. He will. God bless you. Direct your path.